problems. Huh. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> As if I didn't know you. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So what's next? What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me. As well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But... but I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right, then. God be with you. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. I'm ready. My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children? No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Forgive me, my lady. I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind.
Good day to you. What do you need? I noticed the targets. Are you an archer by any chance? I notice you're asking questions. Are you the Inquisition by any chance? No, I'm Henry, of Scalitz. From Scalitz? I'm Vatek, from here. Why are you so curious about the targets? It's just that I sometimes try my hand at archery too. Try your hand, do you? <laughs> I know plenty who do. When you can score as high as me at chumps, then I might be impressed. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Never played chumps? And you call yourself an archer? All right, Henry, listen up. Chumps is a game for real archers. It tests your strength, stamina, and accuracy. And it can be a nice little earner. Unless you're, well, a chump. So what exactly is it? I'll tell you. A bunch of logs are floated down the river. Then you count to twenty, and the archers run along the banks after the logs. At the end of the course, someone collects all the logs and counts the strikes. Whoever has the most, always meaning me, wins the bout. Each archer has 20 arrows with their own colored fletching, and the contest ends when the last log floats through the finish line. Sounds like good fun. Fun? My friend, it will bring you out in a proper sweat, and you'll be well pleased to hit just one or two blocks. So how about it then? Fancy a bout? You'll need your own bow, but I'll supply the arrows with colored fletching. Absolutely. Come on, then. Ah, one more chump. Excellent. Now you have to bet at least ten groschen, fifty at most. There'll be three archers competing at the time. The winner gets triple his wager, and the second gets his coin back. So how much will you bet? Oh, I don't want to lose the share off my back. I'd best be careful. That's the betting over with. Now here are your arrows. Farewell. And now, I'll see you at the finish. Okay. 
Another on target. Oh, well, I won't miss the next one. Bloody hell, the wind took it. The wind took it. Bloody hell, the wind took it. Almost had it. Almost had it. Let's see you beat that. Huh? Almost had it. I've got this easy. Good luck to you. I won't miss the next one. Time's Got up, it. folks. One last arrow and that's it. So, how did it go? You came last, lad. But chin up. As soon as you make some money, you can stop by here again and lose it all. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Do you know him? You mean Hinnick? He's the tanner's son, isn't he? Any idea where I could find him? I don't know. Try at his folks' house, but he doesn't spend much time there. So you know this Hinnick? Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? No one with a nose likes spending too much time around tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. What can you tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. Why do they call Hinek Riki anyway? He's a tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. Tanning isn't a trade for the weak of stomach. True enough. But not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, Hinnick's nature's no sweeter than his smell. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well, like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Ratai for thieving. And in Neuhof, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies, and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits. Just so. We're all honest folk here, and we've no use for the likes of him. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Good luck to you.
Who are you? Hey, do you want something? Come now. Hey. Lost something here about? Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the Tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner, that I seduce decent men? God, no. Nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. Aye, I've seen him often enough. I don't know what I could tell you about him. Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I... I don't know. Look, Hinek's my friend and I really need to know where he is and what he's doing. But I already told you I don't know where he's got to. So I suppose he just goes to the woods to pick mushrooms, does he? Mushrooms? No. More like hares or other game. So Hinnick is a poacher? Well, that's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you about? He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening, drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He kept prattling on and didn't seem to care about... you know what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, oh, I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosch who died. That he was regretting he ever got into it, but he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye, and then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. I see. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. Oh, just poppycock. Did you go there for a look? No. I've got better things to do. Obviously, he made it up. Where would a layabout like him get so much coin? Yes, I understand. Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small holding in the western corner. All right, thank you. Is it true? What? 
Other whores wouldn't go with him even for money. The other bathhouse girls are honest, so I don't know. The truth is, I felt a bit sorry for him. Folk don't like him, but it's only because his old man is a grouch and a tanner. I heard they don't like him because he keeps company with villains. True enough. But they didn't like him before that either. Or me. They're close-minded yokels. Both of us are the black sheep of the village. There's nothing more between you? No, nothing. Maybe Hinnick thinks differently, but that's how it goes. Is it true? What? Other whores wouldn't go with... The other bath out. So you only felt sorry for him? Both of us are the black sheep of the village. There's nothing more between you? No, nothing. Another thing about the money. What is it? Good luck then. Brother of God.